Okay, um, I did pack with me a spare microphone. I think the problem is actually this, the mic, the actual mic mic, not the block. Um, although I did manage to find a spare block as well. So I've swapped everything over, so fingers crossed uh, we should be okay. I hope so. Okay, so this may be I haven't checked every single bit of footage, but this may be the first time you've heard my voice since Serbia um, yeah, had a disaster with the GoPro audio and uh, yeah, gutted is all I can say, gutted. That's hours and hours of thoughtful conversation that we've all missed out on. If you're even hearing this, I don't even know. This is a whole new, well, a backup rig, so I don't know if it's even working. Anyway, we're in Brasov, Brashov, and um, the bike's looking pretty filthy. We're going to Bran Castle now, just for a quick look. If it's super busy, I ain't paying a load of money to uh, queue up with all the other morons. And then, because we missed out on the Transfergation, I may as well try and do the Transalpina, which by all accounts is actually better anyway. It's quite hard to travel in this country. The roads are pretty gnarly. Um, the transfiguration was an amazing thing to do. Sorry, I'm in the wrong lane here. But the road surface made it so impossible to ride. Well, not impossible, but you... Fucking English c The road surface made it so impossible to ride that it became a sort of a real effort. So anyway, Romania is quite tough. Um, I love the little hotel in the hills that I first got to. Again, you won't probably be, I, I don't think any of that footage worked either. And that's a real shame because that was like a sanctuary and that whole, basically I, I drove in the wrong direction for two hours when I got into, through the Romanian border. And, um, and I was shitting myself and it was really interesting bit of video. Anyway, and then I had to go down these really ridiculous, gnarly, nagery roads, which is like a main road, but then I found this beautiful bit at the top of this mountain, and it was going through these villages, and the kids were like, yay, pull wheelies, make noise, and it was lovely, and I really, really enjoyed that. So hopefully you can hear me now, I don't know, I mean, this is a, a really old microphone, so I don't think it's got the quality, oh, brilliant bit of off-roading nipples but ultimately now this part of the journey I think this is the furthest east I'm gonna go and now I'm gonna head back west and realize just how lucky I am to have the life I've got does it go does it go I don't fucking know I'm just gonna do it yeah it looks all right I guess okay so we are just approaching Bran Castle apparently so maybe we'll catch a glimpse of it as we go up this hill. So this is the fictional location of where Count Dracula lives in Transylvania. There it is. Oh, I need to cut that fucking tree down. I mean, there's a lot of people here. It is Sunday. Like, how do you get in? Do we have to pay to get in? I don't want to pay to get in. I'm going to just fucking park next to these bikes because bikes are fucking cool and they can park anywhere. Welcome to Transylvania. Well, this kind uh, officer, policeman, said I can't park here, even though all these people are fucking parked here, but fuck him. Do you know what? Fuck him. Fuck tourism. I, I, I don't give a shit. They can, they can all fuck off. I'm going. Like, fuck the castle. Fuck your stupid fucking Transylvanian bullshit. <laughs> what way to just ruin everyone's time? Like, what, what's the, like, no one else, what's wrong with parking here? Honestly, <sighs> what a dick. Just because you didn't fucking, just because you got bullied at school doesn't mean you have to be a dick. Right, so we're going to go to Mishora, which is basically the way out of Romania. Do we go past the Transalpina? That is the question. Sebes, there it is. So yeah, we go right past it. Okay, let's do that. Two and a half hours. It's a fucking tourist nightmare, to be honest with you. I mean, you, I'm going to come to Brand Castle and buy a giant football. It's 
better view anyway. So, up there, focus, is Bran Castle, and down here is me and my bike. And, uh, I'm uh, uh, sorry, but injustices like that just really fucked me off. So, even though there's five other bikes there, can't park it. Um, anyway, it's a very pretty castle, but I wouldn't bother visiting. Right, let's go to the Transalpina. It's much more fun. One of our best mates. Oh, let's get them over. What happened to Chris? Oh, he's run over doing a selfie. What a shame. But so many fucking touristy things are just ruined by people, aren't they? And then everyone trying to make a buck out of it. Which I understand, I get, totally, but it's just fucking just ruins it, doesn't it? You need, I understand why people need like planning permission and stuff and there should be people in control of it, but anyway, his mum's got a nice bum. Right, let's try and avoid this rain, shall we? And get on to the Transalpina. Now this looks like a pretty decent little stretch of road and there's quite a lot of bikes coming the other way, so let's go into dynamic suspension mode try and have a little bit of fun before the rain comes. Beautiful. Transylvania, baby. There's still too many fucking cars here, though. It's not like my beautiful Bosnia. This is nice. I like. Oh, raindrops. No. No. Oh, Bull fuck. Just quickly whipped out my uh, waterproof gear and my very bright trousers. But look, this is a lot of what Romania is like in terms of road surface and villages. Anyway, my, all my all my electronics are having an absolute meltdown today. I've just had to reset that. Anyway, whatever. I think we're on the right road. And no more than. 10 minutes after I've put all my stuff on, it's now bone dry. Dog, so many stray dogs. They seem to have their own sort of, oh, it's wet again. They seem to have their own corners, like their own sort of wild territory. Okay, so this is Sebes, Sebas, Sebes. And this is the start of the Transalpina. Of course, uh, it's piss wet and <laughs> I tell you, the, these roads uh, feel lethal in the, the rain. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna have a little uh, poo. I mean, I've come all this way now. I may as well do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> right, let's get this fucking road done. Maybe see another bear and uh, then we can carry on our adventure through normal Europe. Groovy. <laughs> well, this just feels like an exercise in futility. It's really difficult to ride in this. The, uh, the surface is... It just feels super slippery and really scary. But I'm here and I'm nursing it all the way through. Even these cars are going slow. This is the Transalpina. It is, I mean, I can imagine this in sunny, warm um, climbs. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it is absolutely breathtaking. Um, it's just a shame that we have this to deal with and it just feels so slippery. And the microphone's probably not working anyway. <laughs> the camera's probably not. I've tried to put a load of tape around all the holes. What's going on here? The phone's having a fucking meltdown. Oh, it's trying to, it's saying I'll connect. Shut up, Bixby, you c fucking dick. Fuck off, you c Oh, for fuck's sake. It's fucking terrifying. I think I'm gonna have a, um, I'm gonna need like a massage after this. What's down on there? Uh, it's a shit show. So uh, I've just pulled over to uh, hide under this canopy. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do instead, it's already 4.30, I'm going to... Um, a subscriber messaged me who lives in Timisoara, Timisoara uh, which is just near the border of Romania, Hungary, I think. He wants to he take me out for a pizza, so <laughs> I'm going to go and do that instead and wobble my way down in my flow trousers. Romania. <clears throat> Sounds like a song by Peter Andre. What was that? Insania. <laughs> Oh, fucking chin strap. Well, this is one of the very few motorways, you can call it that, in Romania. I just jumped on this to go to Tiramisu. But I'm cruising because I haven't got a lot of fuel. I'm, I'm going really bloody slowly and I'm going to run out in 30 k's. And I'm not sure, I haven't, seen a, I haven't seen a sign for ages, so I'm hoping one comes up pretty soon. So I've just had to roll off, stick it on cruise and uh, hope for the best. Come on petrol, let's, let's do this, come on. If you run out of petrol, Chris, you're an absolute noob. Okay, we're down to 14 kilometers now. I've slowed down to 110. Uh, I'm hoping that that toilet sign on the map will be fuel. Let's go down to 100. Come on. Is that one? Is that one? Nine kilometers left. Is that it? Oh, hang on, is that it? It is one! Yes! <laughs> oh yeah! This fucking shut. You're joking. You're joking, it's not open yet. What the shit? Fuck. There's a bike over there, let's see if he knows where to get some fucking fuel. Do you know where to get any fuel? Yeah, it's, it's closed, no? I have uh, nine kilometers left. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Mall? Yes. Yeah? Uh, on Sunday, it's. So I come off? Yes. Yeah? Okay. H how many? Uh, some 10 kilometers. Okay. I'll, I'll, come off, I'll come off at this one. <laughs> You're more. Well, I've, there's nothing else I can do, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You think the next one is close? Right, thank you. Very, very slow. <laughs> Fuck. It's fucking raining as well. That's nine kilometers at a gnat's pace as well. Fucking shut. Yes. <laughs> ah! Well, this petrol station is my only hope. Help me, Obi Wan. You're my only hope. Come on, please. Please be open. Please be fucking open. Please be open. Yes. Oh. Yes. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, you beautiful place. Thank you, Moll. You absolute bloody ledge. Now I'm just uh, waiting for this uh, storm of rain to pass. It's fucking awful. Oh, fuck's sake. Fucking hell. Fuck me! Fucking hell! <laughs> it's like a monsoon or something. It's ridiculous. I think it's raining. It's calming down a little bit now, but it's still... This is fucking mental. I can't, I'm moving, I'm moving buddy. Uh, this is, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, oh my God. 
I'm in that windy... Ow! It's actually hurting my arms, the fucking force of the rain. Fuck me. Fucking fuck. I think that's, I think that's the camera gone now. I, think, I don't think it's going to uh, survive this. If it does, I'll be very impressed. Fucking lightning. Fuck me. Look, oh my god, this is going to be bad. Fuck it, fuck, fuck, fuck it, fuck. I fucking, I can't, ow, ow, hailstorms and shit. Ow, motherfucker. Ow, <laughs> ow, ow. Fuck, I can't handle this, I've got to get out, I've got to go. Ah. You fucking, ah, oh, you fucking bastard. Fucking hell. Oh, you absolute I don't know if still here. <laughs> this is the road surface. It's been like this for ages and the, the cars are just sort of swerving all around trying to avoid these massive fucking holes <laughs> oh good stuff right we're five minutes away from zolly's house i think i might get attacked and killed hopefully he's not a murderer this looks shit here but actually the town center which i'll probably go down tomorrow for a little coffee or something looks really good According to this little pin, I reckon it should be basically here. Ah! Hi, Chris. You right? Yay! Yeah, yeah, sure. Fucking hell, man! I've never driven through weather like that. Serious. It was like a uh, hailstorm, lightning. Fuck it! I ran out of fuel. I had. I told you. Yeah. I know, but I thought you meant fill up here. Okay, I, I thought you were going to fill up there, you know. I, well, that's what I thought. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll be all right. I got, like, anyway, it went down to six kilometers. I had to leave the motorway. Yeah, Fucking yeah, hell. Yeah. What? Is this weird for you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm starstruck as hell. Oh, man, don't be. <laughs> don't be. Just don't murder me. What? Just don't murder me. Oh, no. And if you're going to rape me, do it after you've killed me. Okay. <laughs> it's quite a big town. What? It's quite a big city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 300,000. Uh, 300,000? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's big. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, classic. Good morning. Uh, just sat at the laptop going through the footage. Um, mixed results from yesterday. I, the, this, it's half fixed, the microphone. I don't know what's going on, but um, some of the footage is usable. Anyway, so that's good. Uh, I'm in a really nice hotel uh, in Timish, Timishwara, Timisoda. Looks like Tiramisu in Romania. This is on the, no, but you wait. This is on the western border. And I'm just deciding what to do today. I don't know. Um, I'd like to go. To, I'd like to find somewhere that I can just spend somewhere really nice. It's got stuff to do in the area that I can spend a couple of days and just not unpack, repack the bike, and just sit in the sun and just chill the fuck out. And that's living the dream. I really don't. Want, I know this is this is good, this is such a miserable fucking series, but I I kind of I want to show that it's vulnerable, and I want to. I don't want to be this hey, check out this Instagram thing and I'm so fucking cool and I'm riding around Europe and I'm fucking brilliant. Because it's so rare that normal people actually get to do all that stuff. This is a normal, this is like a, the eyes, this is, this is a tour through a normal human being with feelings and emotions and vulnerability and, and fear. Um, and I guess, I guess I'm showing off how great it is so you can go do it yourself. But I think it is a it is a growing experience, and I think it is gonna it is doing me good deep down. So 
Anyway, let's see where the wind blows, eh? Right, I'm gonna go into Timisoara town now and go and have a coffee or something and um, think about what the fuck to do. Bye. Righty ho. Right, that was quite a nice hotel. The rooms were nice, it, looked, it doesn't look that amazing from the outside. Well, I mean, obviously it does look nice, but yeah, it was very comfortable, very nice. Quite expensive, certainly for here. It was 105 euros, which the average wage out here is about 800 euros a month. I think this is it. The Drunken Rat Pub. Hmm. Hi, you all right? Yeah. This is um, Timisoara, Timisoara in Romania. Let me give you a bit of a clean down there. And um, I'm just having a little cup of tea. Well, a Coke actually, Coke Zero. And um, I just met a subscriber who's actually coming to help me out with my microphone issues and woes. So he's already, he's given me his little Rode lapel mic and he's just gone back home to get a um, little adapter. So hopefully I can get back on the voice because I, again, I tried, a, I tried some uh, recordings this morning, but it didn't work. So yeah, it's, uh, it's annoying. Anyway, this is a pretty, uh, a pretty, pretty place. So, yeah, and thank the world for joyous people that come and help you when you need help. And then I still don't know where I'm going. I wanted to go to Slovenia, to uh, La Slovin yeah, to Slovenia, but it's seven and a half hours drive and it's already 1.30, so it'll be at least 2.30 before I leave, so maybe I'll go to Budapest instead. Who knows? Testing, God, this is annoying. Testing, testing, it's so fucking annoying. Testing, testing, with the big road mic. Testing, testing, testing. Please work, testing. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, testing, testing. Well, how amazing was that? This, uh, a Romanian subscriber who lives here came down and gave me his microphone. So hopefully this is sounding pretty decent. I'll have to run a couple of tests. Or, honestly, audio on these fucking motorbikes is an absolute pain in the radar. Why isn't that censoring? Come on then, recenter you. F yes, recenter. What's fucking wrong with you? Fucking finally, you twat. Well, I've got to go around the houses here. Anyway, so uh, I'm off to Budapest because it's super late. It's uh, it's twenty. It's 10 to 3 already, and I'm still in Timisoara, and I just fancy an easy day. And the hotel in Budapest has got underground parking. <laughs> why couldn't I just go there? Why did I have to go? Fucking... Why couldn't I just turn left? How dare technology not do exactly as I require in this specific moment in time that I didn't even pay for, technically. All right, farewell, um, Timisoara, Timisoara. Let's get, it's going to be a boring day today, so I will probably just skip ahead all the way until we get into the city of Budapest. And I'll give you an update on the whole day. Speak to you in a bit. Thank you. Farewell. Bon voyage. This is a uh, massive queue of trucks. I don't know what they're doing. I guess... Is there a border coming up? It's probably, probably not far from the border, I suppose. Fuck that. Poor bastards. So Romania is in the EU, but it's not in the Schengen zone. Looks like a fucking nightmare is about to happen. Fucking carnage. I'm gonna go down that way and try and skip everyone because I'm an arsehole. Tree, trucks, cars, boats, dogs. Right, let's get my shit out. Okay, back into the Schengen EU zone. 
So life is wonderful in the EU apparently. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing. I went right to the front and this Bulgarian van driver was not happy at all. Um, he was like, I was like, well, I'm in now, mate. What do, you, what, what do you want me to do? And then I pulled it and I was in the wrong lane. And uh, because I'm non-EU, they then had to check all my documents. <laughs> I blocked the lane. I could feel his stare in the back of my helmet. Onwards to Budapest. Welcome to Budapest. Just uh, a quite a long, boring ride today on the motorway. Uh, but I'm here nice and early. It's only coming up to half past five. So that should give me a bit of time to get out and explore the city. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just blindly following technology. I actually feel quite relaxed and calm today. I think, uh, again, I think I made another step towards just not giving a fuck, quite frankly. Oh, we're about to cross the river. Again, guess what river it is? Yep, it's the mighty Danube yet again. Marbella. Probably not allowed in the bus zone, no. I mean, motorcycles should be allowed to go wherever the fuck they want to go, if it was my world. Which maybe it will be one day. It smells like shit. Nasty, smelly shit. It is quite difficult to have your wits about you looking at a sat-nav and doing this. This is a shit road system. Oh, it's just, it's so pathetic being sat here when you're on a motorbike. Oh, well, why is he going in there? Well, I'm going to go in there then. If he's in there, fuck it. Bicycles, bicycles, bus lane, ball. It's really quite stressful. What did I say about coming into cities? I just shouldn't bother. Come on, Satnav, update. Uh, what's it called? Hotel, interior, special something, hotel... Uh, what did I say it was called? I didn't say, did I? Hotel Vision, that's the one. I'm going to get off and have a look. Okay, we're in. We're checked in. Got the key. Now we need to find the car park. Uh, the hotel looks really nice. The lobby looks great. The receptionist was a bit miserable though. Reception person, sorry, I should say. Ah, third time riding down here. Come on then, give me the ticket. So this is one very useful thing for hill start control. Do you think this is just for us? Yeah, okay, right, that's the reception. What well on, baby. What well on, baby. <laughs> Hungary, yeah!